A hunt we will never forget. An experience of a lifetime. Colorado public land over-the-counter hunt. Eight days, four friends, three tags, one goal. Kill three bull elk. We're, uh, we're in a tight spot. Um, it's getting later and later. We didn't find any water down there. So we've got to hike all the way back up here and get back up on top of the ridge and shoot across and then dump back down to where there's some sort of spring. Um, I guess we'll see you guys in the morning. Hope that we find water. Because if not, well then, we'll have to meet back up with John and Royce, which is about a three and a half to four hour hike. And with no water, it's gonna be brutal. We gotta get phone service. We don't have phone service down in here. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not, I'm not freaking out, but I'm starting to get a little worried. See you guys in the morning. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to Frost and see where they're at. I'm gonna give them your name and your phone number because they might also be calling you. Okay. Um, to get some more information, I want you guys to stay exactly where you're at unless somebody else a responder calls you and tells you to do anything different. Yes, ma'am. But I don't want you guys to move from where you're at since you gave me a GPS location. Okay. Okay, and you do actually have phone service right here at as well. Yes, ma'am. Um, if anything changes, you can give call 911 again. Okay. But I do I do also still want to conserve your battery a little bit. I know it's still got quite a bit, but just in case anything changes before they get up there. Okay. Okay, um, but feel free to call us back at any moment if anything changes or if you need an update or anything, okay? Okay, yes, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Uh-huh. Bye. Bye. So, this camera recording. Huh? Yeah, we're good. That is I'm recording on your camera. We got into a tight spot. Um, day two of eight, nine, eight or nine hunting days. Um, we got dehydrated. So, the best thing that we can do in this situation is call 911. Uh, Colorado time it is 9.15 p.m. Um, I'm fine, but uh, Weston got dehydrated. It was just a lack of uh, drinking water from this earlier this morning, yesterday, and um, the week before we even decided to show up. Um, he didn't want me to call. I've got him laying here right next to me. Um, he didn't want me to call, but I felt like it was the best move. Um, as it started to get dark around 8.15, um, the answer was yes, I can make it through the night um, coming from Weston and then uh, of course it, it's 917 right now I asked him at about 850 to 9 o'clock somewhere in there If he could make it through the night and it, it was questionable, so there's no there's no reason to risk any of this um, all of our gear uh, camera gear bows um, tents sleeping bags clothes every I mean everything um, we're out here we're over 11,000 foot up in elevation. Um, it, none of none of this is worth it. Not even a, a trophy bull, world class bull. None of that's worth it. So um, we're just we're just gonna uh, sit tight for a little bit. My my number one main concern and priority right at the moment is not about any kind of elk that I can shoot. It's not about me or myself, even though I'm I'm pretty dehydrated too. It's about this guy right here next to me. Uh, praise the Lord that we have service and that he is still, um, you know, he, he can still talk. Uh, he's he's fine. He's completely here with me, but he's just, he's just dehydrated. And with the way that 
things were going at the at the rate that they were going i felt that the the best decision to make is to um, just get him out of here get us out of here so it it sucks to to cut it short um but it is what it is you know this is this is one of the roughest and toughest units in colorado and uh, it's it's rough it really is rough and so um, not uh, it's just the the whole uh, adjusting to the the elevation the acclimating that part's probably one of the hardest things to to do and you guys saw how straight up and down it was like it, it just doesn't it doesn't do it justice um as, as to how steep this and, and rough this stuff really is so there's no reason to chance it. Nobody's life is worth an elk or any sort of animal or any sort of hunting adventure. Um, what had happened to us is there were four of us together. Of course, you guys saw that. John and Royce, the, we split up and went down different sides of the mountain. And the purpose for that is because we had two different spots picked out to hunt. This was the original plan the whole time. Um, but we, we saw uh, two different spots to get water and... <clears throat> we went to the first one and we got down in there and there was no water by the time we made it back up and out of the canyon which was um, a solid two miles and steep terrain about like this um, we were just in no shape to try to go somewhere and get more water um, especially not tonight with it getting dark and we're especially not in any sort of shape to um, especially after we sleep to try and go get water in the morning with um, the closest for sure water being 0.91 miles away so almost a mile away and that doesn't include your elevation changes and I'd have to go on my own and I haven't had water in um, a solid four hours five hours so <clears throat> I'm gonna lay here and rest how are you feeling uh, he's feeling all right uh, I can tell in his voice, I can tell that he's just not feeling good at all. And I'm not going to make him lay out here and be miserable all night long. Um, we'll get him out of here and uh, get him safe, get him healthy. Um, that stinks. I'm going to have to figure out some way to get a hold of John and Royce. Uh, both of their phones are shut off. They're not answering. So we're just kind of uh, stuck with... Uh, letting them know any sort of details which kind of sucks because um we'll we'll get out of here and go to a hospital or something and uh, they won't know until they get service until they come out of that canyon which probably won't be until thursday so um i'll just i'm just gonna have to text them and and let them know if they would have answered their phones we could have met up and got water but um, either they didn't have service or they kept their phones off or they were already asleep or something. But, you know, it's our first backcountry uh, backpack hunt and we were going to find water and we just struck out. And well, I'm fine to make it through the night and go get water in the morning, I feel like. But I'm, not, I'm just not sure about him. I'm not taking any chances. Uh, elk hunting and all of this mess out here is not worth it it's not worth anybody's life um is what it is um but there's there's just nothing we can do about it so <laughs> but um, i doubt i think my my hunting is over which is totally fine with me um, i just want to make sure that he is safe and and he is healthy and of course myself too but my number like i said earlier my number one main concern and priority is that he's safe and he's healthy and that's that's what's important so anyways um it stinks to to end it out this way i can promise you i will be back i'm just not sure if it'll be this unit um after 16 to 18 hours of hiking with 80 to 90 pound packs on our bags this was over the top brutal you're actually, the trails that we took to get in here were actually supposed to be ridden on horses or mules. And, and we hiked it in. And uh, it was just too much. It really was. Even with all the training and, and everything that we did, it was just too much. So, 
Um, you know, it, it sucks. But, again, like I said, we will be back. Whitetail season starts soon. Um, there's always hogs to be killed. We got tons of good footage and pictures, so I'll share that with you guys, of course. Um, I have so far, but, uh, you know, there's just nothing we can we can do about it. So, thank you guys so much for following along and for tuning in. Um, we appreciate all the love and support. Um, the Fearless Life Channel and, of course, OSC TV, um, Weston here, One Step Closer TV. He will be linked down below as well, guys. Jump over there and uh, check him out. Hit that subscribe button. Give him a thumbs up. Um, give some, give him some words of encouragement. I know he he kind of feels like crap because he feels like he ru ruined the hunt for me, but it's not at all um, ruined. It's just uh, part of the experience. So, at least, uh, hey, you know what? At least I have a really cool story to tell people whenever I get back. Like, man, what happened? Why are you Why are you home five days early? Well, um, I had to call search and rescue team. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's more elk out there to be killed. And while we may have to wait until next year, well, we'll wait until next year. And it'll be fine. But, uh... We've got tons of fun uh, whitetail hunting coming up, of course. Tons of hog hunting, exotic hunting, all kinds of good stuff coming. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start working on uh, packing some stuff up here in about uh, 45 minutes to an hour. You feeling any better? Mm -hmm. No. I tried. I've got um, electrolytes down here, and when you mix this stuff with water, um, it it really helps a bunch but of course we don't have any water so um, I just I tried to get him to stick his finger in it and and eating it just the powder form of it and I was doing the same thing too and it's just not it's not cutting it eight or nine videos turned into two or three but that's all right I'm still Sorry, uh, guys. I'm, I'm more worried about you than my YouTube career and money uh, Every person's life is more valuable than money, regardless of what <laughs> you may think about one certain person. Um, so, I feel like I made the right decision, and him laying here right next to me, he was like, man, I'm not going to tell you whether or not you should call 911. Uh, you make that call, and I knew whenever he said that, that it was... Um, it was the right call to make. I'll give you guys an update video. Him and I, of course, will be doing some more hunting together whenever we get to feeling better. We'll, we'll talk about it. We'll give you guys kind of an update video, and we'll film a little bit of an update podcast too. Just a couple of different things. We've got a uh, load of footage to to share with you guys, and so um, we'll throw that in on some of these videos of course but I'm gonna quit talking he's probably tired of listening to me talk but good night guys thank you for the support um, we appreciate all the kind words it's a little after 7 getting packed up careful I should be here any minute uh, John and Royce actually got a hold of us in the night and they showed up they're completely out of water too they couldn't find any on the other side of the mountain so um, not sure on how many people that the helicopter can carry, but we're gonna um, get Weston out of here and then get some water, maybe some IV fluids off the helicopter, and then we're gonna pack out of here. It's that mountain right there. We gotta go up that peak and then over and out. We'll probably be a solid eight hours of hiking. Um, we may, we know where there is for sure water. It's about uh, three or four hour hike out so if we can fill up all of our bottles and get hydrated then we can uh, we can make it back there and refill once again stay hydrated and then we may hunt we may uh, go back to the truck and come home I'm not sure yet but either way I'm gonna get this bag packed get this stuff out of here So cute.
curious and dumb. He's like 80 yards away. I'm sitting here backing up and I watch him walk right up out of the draw. That's pretty cool. Careful, I'm supposed to be here any minute. This little buck came wandering up. It's too bad I don't have a mule deer tag and he's not a whole lot bigger because I could kill him. <laughs> I hear some more animals down there in the draw, but I don't know what they are. I'm sure there's there more mule deer. He's coming right to me. This is crazy. <laughs> he put his head down and started feeding, so I'm going to try to get my bigger lens out. Take some better video and pictures for you guys. Okay. Yeah. Alright, how y'all doing? Uh, we're doing pretty well. John's pretty tired. Yeah. Alright, well, we'll, uh, we'll talk to you here in just a little bit. Alright, alright, bye. Uh, because we're at such high elevation, the care flight has been postponed another 30 minutes, 35 minutes. I had to drop off a crew member. That way they're not too overweight and it's a little helicopter. So I'm gonna continue to pack, continue to get stuff out of here and hope for the best. How you feeling? Better. Better? <sighs> we drank a bunch of water. They put IV in him. They didn't leave me a choice. They told me I had to fly out. So the wind started to pick up whenever we were getting ready to leave and they were like, all right, you're getting on. You don't have a choice. So I'm, I'm here at the hospital in Weston. But isn't that the uh, first time I've ever brought a bow into a hospital? Before, to a room. <laughs> so, the, you know, at least we got some cool stories and memories. Uh, no, we didn't shoot any elk, and we're probably not going to go back either, so this whole series is going to be cut short, but it is what it is. Uh, it was a long ways in, somewhere between 10 and 12 miles, I'm sure. And everything was like 17 to 25 percent grade uphill, which is like this or this. Super miserable. Um, we just we got in a bad spot, and uh, John and Royce called me at about 2.30 this morning, and they said they were heading over to our camp, and they showed up at about 6. And they were completely out of water. They didn't find water over where they were camping, 
and we didn't find water either. Uh, we went a, at least a solid mile down into the valley and we didn't find anything, it was all dry. And come to find out whenever we got back up on top of the mountain and we were in the helicopter flying over, if we would have gone another three quarters of a mile around the bend, or around the base of the mountain, we would have come to a pond which had some water in it. But when we looked at uh, oh yeah. But if we, whenever we looked at it on the map, it wasn't showing that there was any water down there. So it was a, it was a newer pond. wasn't updated. But it's what it is. Um, we're starving. We had we didn't eat dinner last night. We didn't eat anything this morning. Um, we're both still pretty dehydrated. Um, I I lucked out. I drank a bunch of water uh, since even on the traveling on the way up here. So I I wasn't as bad off. I, but it's what it is. Probably in this video right here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that thumbs up. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to drop a comment down below. Um, we're moving on to white tail hunting, white tail hogs. So stay tuned for that, guys. It's gonna be a ton of fun. I may have one more dove hunt coming in. That we may uh, get to go and do some dove hunting one more time. And I'm looking forward to that. But I apologize for not bringing the elk home. But uh, none of this is worth um, any one of our lives. No, none of the gear, none of the hunting animals, nothing is worth it and I felt like I made the right decision by calling care flight and getting him out here first thing this morning to get him here in the hospital. That was the right thing to do. It was just one of those deals. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you have not already and hit the uh, notifications bell right next to it so you guys get a notification every single time that I upload and I'll catch you guys on the next one.